Today on Solderer TV we will have an overview of two channel DDS generator MHS 5200D. It is produced in China by the company Minhe. They have four types of generator MHS 5200D. These are models 6M, 12M, 20M and N25M where the numeral means maximum frequency of sine wave. We will have a review of model which has maximum frequency 25 MHz. Apart from sine wave, generator can produce pulse, triangular and saw-shaped signals until 6 MHz regardless of model. And the most interesting is freeform signal which you can draw directly with a mouse in a special program on your computer. More detailed characteristics and description can be read on site supervised in Russian. Well, from the basic ones it is simply frequency 200 ms per second. Resolution of amplitude is 12 bits. Maximum signal amplitude up to 20 volts and the current up to 50 mA. What about equipment? CD disk with USB cable. BNC cable with crocodiles and one more. Adapter board for TTL for easy connection with connectors. 5 volt power supply. And actually generator itself. We have two channel generator but in addition here is an input for measurement etched in so it can work as a frequency meter up to 60 MHz and can measure the period, the duration of pulses and etc. Thus each channel of the generator can give out the form for example the first sine wave, second rectangle and between channels the phase shift can be adjusted. Behind us we have a power switch as well as TTL connector and its pinout is also shown here. Also, we see the input for the power adapter and the USB connector for connection to the computer. So, let's turn on the power and briefly understand the main modes of operation and the purpose of the buttons. Of that display here is simple to line. The generator itself contains a lot of functions, so the control here is a little bit confused. But in principle, I figured out reading the instructions. No difficulties I have not horizon. So, let's start with this twist button, which, as we see, increases and decreases the value where we have the cursor. The cursor itself, we can move via case to left and right. For example, let's expose the 216 kilohertz frequency sine wave. We can set frequency by this way. What about switching between channels? Here we see left, right and on the top we see channel 1, channel 2 and set. We also see wave amplitude, they are accessible via shift K. Press the shift has turned up, now we have the second channel. With the set K we switch the cursor on the left to see that now we can change the waveform so let's start, it's sine wave, it's square, triangle, and it's subspecies, sharp and also freeform signal, which we can record from the computer. We see that we have 16 banks for such forms. We can also specify the amplitude. This is our peak to peak range. We have the maximum amplitude up to 20 volts.
With buttons page up and page down we change parameters. This is offset the fill factor. The phrase between two channels. Trace is tracking function. This is our frequency value. Here is hertz, megahertz and kilohertz. So then we have the inversion of pulse burst generation mode. The choice of the input for external signal. This connector EXT in or behind TTL. Next we have the choice of a function for measurement. The frequency count function, the width of the positive pulse, negative pulse, the period and the duty cycle. This is our account time to set to 1 second, 10 second, 0 0.1. Next we have the mode of setting sweep generator. We can set first frequency, second frequency, sweep time, linear mode, the logarithm mode, on off and so on. But in general all of these can be read in more detailed. And here we see the saving of the settings in the memory bank, 10 banks. You can save all these settings and then j just set them. That's basically all about the functions in general. I will not explain everything in detail. You can read all this on the site of Superice where as I said earlier, it is much more convenient, especially if you have a laptop or a PC in your workplace, to control all from a computer. To do this, put three programs, or rather, three programs drivers, utility from a national instrument and the program itself. The driver may be already standing CH340G. People who use Arduino already have this driver. I connected it via USB, so let's see our signal from the generator. Two channels send each 15 kHz, the first channel and the second channel is also 15 kHz. We can, for example, shift the face. So well, to make it clearer, we will leave only one channel and quickly walk through the frequencies. So let's set the amplitude 10 volts. We have 15 kilohertz. One hundred fifty kilohertz. So let's put 1 megahertz. We see clear sine wave. So let's put 10 megahertz. We see that they are already starting a little deviation. The maximum frequency is 25 megahertz. The oscilloscope itself can measure. 100 megahertz so now the maximum frequency of square wave is 6 megahertz here is how it looks like we see emissions one megahertz one hundred kilohertz and so on it's actually clear 
but we see small picky still here. So I have shown all functions, all documentation you can see. Next tab we have additional functions. What do we have here? Waveform generator mode. Set the initial for example from 6 kHz to 10 kHz and all this we do in 6 seconds. Sweep generator. This is our auto pulse generator that we can set the pulse parameters for period and basically the same thing can be just adjusted here too using the fill factor and so on but here is more accurate in seconds you can set this and here we have some settings 16 banks and we can store presets and here is a mode for us for arbitrary waveforms where we can directly draw some signals here already are ready ones signal noise half wave full two wave positive well on the basis of them you can paint something here so for example we can draw something and then save it to the bank. So let's save it to second bank. We see that data transfer has gone then go to the control panel find the second band can read here we see our form on the oscilloscope screen the generator also supports comments on the terminal I will also attach a file to the forum you can communicate with the generator on the terminal So well, father, I propose to test the measuring functionality of the generator. For this I connected GK101 generator to the input. We also had a review on the channel earlier. So here we have the input text in, well let's measure the frequency. So we have a rectangle of 1 kHz, 5 volts, 50% duty cycle. So, the measurement time is 1 second. We see 1 kilohertz. Let's set 5 megahertz. And the 10 megahertz is the maximum the generator produces. So let's put 2 kilohertz. We see clearly 2. So let's give other frequencies. This is counter. So it works. Counts the impulses. It's less interesting. Positive negative half wave period. So let's see fill factor. So let's set 50%. 
20.5 we see 20.5 99 and 3 we see 99 and 2 we see that the measurement is quite clearly it is not the first year for this generator to be on foreign internet forms and blogs there is a lot of information on it in the description i will give a link on its modification and given part of the input stage circuit the article is in English, everything is clear and even there is a bone file for ordering the necessary details in DigiK. Well, summing up, first about the price. In the Super I store it costs 5300 rubles with the delivery. Yes, so there are minuses. In the generator there is no modulation and square and triangular waves on megahertz looks not very good. But all these minuses are compensated by the affordable cost. Of course, there are Regals, Agilenti and other hip generators, but they cost at least 3-5 times more. Well, in general, for a typical radio emission with low requests for passage, it can definitely be recommended. On this all, see also on our channel reviews of generator HG100, GK101 and H11887 and subscribe the soldering iron TV.